here are, let's see, let's get this all lined up that, appropriately. All right. This is all real? It's plastic. Like, I don't feel it. So here's the um, front of the neck, and then here is where the issue is. Okay. So we are looking at a problem. This is not lined up. Right. That's not our problem. That's not the problem. <laughs> um, okay. We're looking at a problem with proliferation of the bone here okay. and here. So if this is the spinal cord, mm -hmm. then what we're dealing with is bone that's created here on the inner aspect and it's causing some compression okay. on the side okay. of the spinal cord. And this is one, right? That's, that's one. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four. So between four and five. Four and five and five and six. Okay. And that's where our problem is. And so is it the same on both where it's the inside? Correct. You said it's the inside of there. Uh, right here. Oh, okay. So this is the articulation. Mm -hmm. So the articular facet. And what we're dealing with is proliferation of the bone in this area and this area. Okay. And that's leading to compression. Okay. Is this thing, is the thing inside okay. it real? And that's happening that the same, real. that's rubber. Yes. <laughs> the same, the same is happening here. Correct. Kind of on this side too? Correct. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's the bone that's growing there that's causing the compression. Okay. Okay. So, here we have a side view of his neck, and here are the intervertebral discs, here are the vertebrae, or the bones in the back, and here's his spinal cord coming into view. Okay. So, right here is the biggest problem area, which is in his mid to lower neck, so right at C4-5. and. Here is right behind that, that's normal in appearance. So the spinal cord, it's nice round, it's got this nice white CSF or fat column around it. And then as we move forward, so right in the area of the disc space, we start to um, lose some of that nice column around it. And here's where you can really appreciate that there is stenosis. So we only have the nice white fat here, mm -hmm. and here there's just not enough space. So this is where the bones of, at the articulation of the fourth and the fifth vertebrae, they're, um, they've pro proliferated or become larger, mm -hmm. and they're starting to com compress on the sides a little bit of the cord in this area. Okay. So here is also where the nerve root exits, okay. um, and this is on the right side, and this opening is a little bit smaller when we compare it to this opening, oh, okay. which could also that. be a source of pain. Okay. So um, we can also look on this, and this is a different type of image. Guys, shh. But in the same location, you can see a little bit that there's just a change here on the right side compared to the left side. So there's just less space. And then the next area is a little lower down, so more in the lower neck, which I just have to pull up another one. Excuse me, which would be right there. So this is right at uh, C5-6. And again, this is normal in appearance here. And then as we move closer, we lose that nice CSF fat column on the right side. So it's gone there. And that is because of the proliferation of the bone in that area. So that's causing stenosis or basically making the canal smaller. And that's smaller too than that side. Slightly, that but not, not as medium. much okay. pronounced as okay. in the 4-5. Um, the Okay. So, and this occurs mostly because of the bony proliferation, but also because of some proliferation from the joint capsule right at that articulation. Okay. And you think 